Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Ana Nestrulgo Tolson Hitler Hartek, Stahaik, suprememastertv.com, Tashazoras, schedule. I guarantee you can win anybody over with these. Even the most ardent meat lovers will love this version of vegan pulled pork. This is one of those foods that can help people transition to a healthy, sustainable, compassionate vegan diet. Vegan Chef Miyoko Shinner's Vegan Meat Recipes Part 1 of 2 Vegan Carnitas Tacos Filled with King Trumpet Mushroom Pulled Pork Stay with us for this exciting show. Vegan, the ocean feels shy compared to your magnanimous heart. Radiant viewers, hola, como estas? This is a greeting in Spanish that means hello, how are you? I am Benicio. The humble people of Puerto Rico are thankful for compassionate people like you, who care deeply for the welfare of the beautiful animal people we share this planet with. Welcome to our show, Vegan Chef Miyoko Shiner's Vegan Meat Recipes, Part 1 of 2. Vegan Carnitas Tacos filled with King Trumpet Mushroom Pulled Pork. Today, we are pleased to have a well-known vegan chef, best-selling vegan cookbook author, entrepreneur, and animal people advocate, Miyoko Shiner, back on Supreme Master Television. She was the recipient of the Shining World Compassion Award in 2020, presented by our beloved Supreme Master Qinghai, along with a loving token of 10,000 US dollars for the animal people's goodies in the Rancho Compassion Animal People Sanctuary, co-founded by vegan chef Miyoko Shiner. At the age of 12, she made the connection that the meat on her plate had in fact once been a living animal people. Then she learned to cook, replacing meat with vegetarian options. Miyoko went vegan in the mid-1980s when she was in her early 20s. Being vegan for almost 40 years, Vegan chef Miyoko Shiner has been a forerunner in driving change for a compassionate and sustainable vegan food system. Due to our limited time, here we'll highlight just some of them. In 2012, she hosted three seasons of Vegan Mashup Cooking Show aired on the public broadcasting service PBS, an American public broadcaster and television program. In 2014, vegan chef Miyoko Shiner founded Miyoko's Creamery by merging modern food technology with old creamery methods using wholesome plant-based milk. In just a few short years, Miyoko's Creamery vegan products can be found in thousands of stores across the USA, Australia, Canada, South Africa, Hong Kong, and Singapore. She says, I founded Miyoko's Creamery to inspire compassion for all living beings through the joy of food and the positivity of plants. In 2015, one of her vegan cookbooks, The Homemade Vegan Pantry, was named one of the best vegan cookbooks by Good Housekeeping magazine. In 2018, Vegan chef Miyoko Shiner was recognized as a vegan revolutionary by the United Nations in its The Future of Women Global Initiative. And in 2021, she was recognized in the 50 over 50 project, an initiative highlighting the diverse voices and work of 50 female entrepreneurs over the age of 50 by Forbes magazine a highly influential publication in the United States. 
Without further ado, let's meet vegan chef Miyoko Shiner. Hi everyone, I'm Miyoko Shiner of Miyoko's Creamery. I am so delighted to be here with you. Hello, Supreme Master Ching Hai. Thank you for having me back on your show, talking to your worldwide audience. I have a farmed animal sanctuary. I have pigs that like to have their bellies rubbed, not eaten. They are so cute. They're so loving. They're so smart. And I don't really want to think about what happens to them. What we want to do is create people that are compassionate towards animals. And one of the best ways to do that is by making delicious vegan food and show people how not only delicious and healthy these foods are, but that you too can be part of a movement that is creating a more compassionate world. So uh, with that in mind, I want to show you how to make a vegan pulled pork from my latest book, The Vegan Meat Cookbook, that doesn't exactly taste like pork, but it has every bit of that satisfaction and umami and chewy quality that people are looking for. This is one of those foods that can help people transition to a healthy, sustainable, compassionate vegan diet. So let's get started. First, I wanna introduce you to these king trumpet mushrooms, a type of oyster mushroom. We have soy sauce, olive oil, maple syrup, and smoked paprika. The first thing we're gonna do is shred these mushrooms with a fork to create sort of the texture or look of what you might see or think at is pulled pork. I'm gonna cut the bottom off here. The bottom is a little hard to shred and you wanna pull this all the way through. And don't worry if they fall apart like that. We're gonna be cutting these up later anyway. They sort of look like pork, they sort of look like crab. So you can season these differently by using seaweed and turn this into sort of a, a crab alternative. And I guarantee you can win anybody over with these. Even the most ardent meat lovers will love this version of vegan pulled pork. Once you cook them up, you can keep them in your fridge for several days. We're making a vegan carnitas tacos with this, but you can put them in enchiladas, you can toss them with pasta, you can make a sandwich out of them. Okay, I think I have enough mushrooms. So now I'm gonna make my simple marinade and start with three tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And for a touch of sweetness, a tablespoon of maple syrup. And then a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Or you can use uh, liquid smoke. I like the smoked paprika because it also adds another layer of flavor than just the smoke. Stir this up. Put the mushrooms in there, mix it all up. After you get it all nice and mixed up and everything looks beautifully brown, we're just gonna set this aside for 10 minutes. We're ready to move on to the salsa. So let me introduce you to the ingredients. I've got tomatoes, jalapenos, lime and cumin, who could ask for anything more? Well, how about some cilantro? These are tomatoes that uh, we put over the open flame. We did this over just a gas burner to get the tomatoes brown, charred, blackened on the outside. So they start to get really, really juicy and delicious and you're adding a little bit of that wonderful charred flavor. You can do this in a food processor, but I kind of like the rough texture of just chopping it up by hand. We've got salsa, delicious salsa, with lots of flavors. Woo! See, that's the, that's the, uh, the drum set clanging there. Who could ask for anything more? Just go vegan, it's the greatest. Be friends with animals, it's the latest. All right, so same thing with the jalapenos. We uh, charred them over the open flame, remove the seeds, mince these up. We're gonna put half a lime in here. Whole cumin, maybe about a half a teaspoon. Sea salt. And finally, some fresh cilantro. Mm -hmm. 
if you like that smoky flavor, you can add a little bit of smoked paprika. Vegan, a novel character. Choose it. Beautiful viewers, we'll pause to take our canine people friends for a walk on this lovely sunny day. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We will be right back. Welcome back to our show, Vegan Chef Miyoko Shiner's Vegan Meat Recipes, Part 1 of 2. Vegan Carnitas Tacos filled with King Trumpet Mushroom Pulled Pork. The king trumpet mushrooms have been marinating for about 10 minutes and they've softened up and shrunk a little bit. They look a lot juicier. So I've got a pan heating here and we're gonna put some olive oil here in the bottom and we're gonna cook the mushrooms until they're super, super brown. All right, so we'll get the mushrooms in there. Oh boy, they smell delicious. Oh, you can hear that sizzle. You wanna get the oil nice and hot. Otherwise, it, it'll be hard to brown these. I don't want to overcrowd the pan because I do want these to brown. In the meantime, I have a cast iron pan here, ready, nice and hot, so I can heat up my tortillas. So they're going right in here and take a few minutes to cook. So while that's cooking, we're going to prepare the rest of the toppings for the vegan carnitas tacos. And we're just going to slice these radishes up very, very thinly. Now, what do you do with the radish tops? Don't throw them away. They make such great pesto. And they're also mild if you steam them or cook them. Let's just check on the tortillas. You don't want them to get watery or waterlogged, which is why you want to keep the heat high. Don't stir them all the time because you want them to sit to brown. They've shrunk a little bit, so I'm gonna add the rest right here. I'm getting very impatient looking at these browning so beautifully. I'm gonna take a taste even though they're not ready. Mm. So delicious. The cold tortillas are very stiff like this. Heating up the tortillas is what will revive them and make them soft and pliable so you can fold them for any dish. I'm gonna add a little bit more smoked paprika. Some smoked paprikas tend to be smokier than others. So it all depends on the brand you use. Look at how beautiful and brown they're getting. There's no liquid in the pan. We don't want any liquid. We just want them chewy, succulent, smoky, delicious. Okay, they just need another minute. Now so I'm going to throw the cashews in here and they're going to add this wonderful sweet crunch which will make the smokiness so perfect. So we're going to cook this for another couple of minutes until the cashews have also absorbed some of that wonderful flavor and have begun to get slightly brown. I got two more tortillas left. All right, I'm gonna chop up a little bit of cilantro just for the topping as decoration. This looks spectacular. I'm gonna turn the heat off. Let's start assembling these tacos. We're gonna put a little bit 
of this wonderful king trumpet mushroom pulled pork in the middle here. A spoonful of this salsa right on top. And a few radish slices for some freshness and some extra crunch. Top it off with some fresh cilantro. And my tacos are ready to devour. So the next thing we do with these is put them in our mouths. So yummy. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Ingredients. For our ingredients, please use organic versions if available. For the vegan carnitas tacos, the ingredients are 4 6 inch or 8 3 inch corn tortillas, king trumpet mushroom pulled pork vegan, salsa. 1 quarter cup of roughly chopped cilantro, 2 thinly sliced radishes, 1 half lime. For the king trumpet mushroom pulled pork vegan, the ingredients are 450 gram of king trumpet mushrooms, 1 half cup of roughly chopped raw cashews, 3 tablespoons of soy sauce or tamari, 2 tablespoons of olive oil, 1 tablespoon of maple syrup, 1 teaspoon of smoked paprika, vegetable oil for sauteing such as olive, sunflower, canola, avocado, or grapeseed. For the salsa, the ingredients are 2 charred tomatoes, 1 charred jalapeno, 1 half lime, 1 half teaspoon of whole cumin, sea salt to taste, some fresh cilantro, smoked paprika, optional. For more information about vegan chef Miyoko Shinner, her vegan products, and her vegan cookbook, please visit miyokos.com. I'm vegan because of climate change. The Honorable Darren Jones, vegan. Kind viewers, we hope you have enjoyed watching our show, and we thank vegan chef Miyoko Shiner for sharing her delightful vegan recipes with the world. Please join us next Sunday for part 2 of the show, when chef Miyoko Shiner will show us how to make the delicious vegan prosciutto from her latest The Vegan Meat Cookbook. Up next is Supreme Master Shin Hai's thoughts on the urgent situation in Ukraine, part 4 of 8, on Between Master and Disciples, right after noteworthy news. May the eternal love of the Providence illuminate your heart and soul. For free international vegan recipes and for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG and suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule.